as we were kneeling and as we were just there being peaceful and and you know still continuing to voice our our concerns over what was what is what is taking place in the country they tear gassed us um, and there was no warning there wasn't any there wasn't the opportunity to leave the area so because of the tear gas i had to eventually move into the corner because i couldn't breathe and i was very disoriented and there was a woman that came and offered to help me and as she was she was coming around the curb and her and i were face to face i was shot within seconds and i hit the ground so as i've seen more um, watching it or seeing footage, new new images. Yeah. I just still didn't want to think that the the police did that, and I remember getting home that night and taking the picture and saying, you know, I I'm gonna keep this and maybe I'll post this tomorrow after I have more information. And after I got more information, I realized that it was a there was so much emotional pain that Monday. Um, I remember crying. I remember being, I couldn't, you know, my eye, my right eye was completely swollen. My left eye began to swell and my jaw, I couldn't chew. I could barely speak. Really put in a, such a... There are officers that come to work every day to protect and serve their community and they do their jobs very well. But for those officers that have this power and they abuse this power, what are they going to do to ensure that they this that power is taken away and they don't have opportunities to to do any harm to the citizens that they're supposed to help and, and protect? By a judge who 